We good? Yep. Okay. It says they're over here. All right, so what's happening is there's police literally everywhere. There's about 12 walking up there. Uh, we've seen two big vans full of police over there. We're meeting uh, the Animal Rebellion guys for an action. And there are police at, there are police at the watch, had, keeping watch over here. Um, I'm not too sure how they're gonna how they're gonna work this. Police have already police have already worked them out. They must have intercepted everything. Police have been intercepting everything Animal Rebellion are doing. But apparently, we might be going to a slaughterhouse to disrupt it. So let's go find them. Okay, here's everyone here, and here's about 25 police walking up. Looks like we've got a little little guy here whose uh, job it is to tell on us. <laughs> at the corner here and uh, this is a group of animal rebellion people over there there's already it looks like community officers or something with them see how this pans out what's up yeah the name number a peabody road all right so we've got the address of the slaughterhouse um the police are already trying to find out where it is i don't know how this is going to go the police are going to intercept it before we do anything there's just police everywhere so we're going to try to make our own way down there see how we go Uh, so for Waterloo Station, we can go straight to Farnborough. Yeah. Is that the popo? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm just uh, following the crew. I'm not really. I don't really know what's up. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I haven't been told of anything. That's right, cool. Just thank you. Right? Okay, have a nice day. Take care. Thank you, bro. What's your name? My name's Tom. Nice to meet you, Tom. You too, my friend. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Um, a bunch of activists have locked onto a slaughterhouse truck and they seem to be inside the slaughterhouse over here. We had a meeting point at 9am and all the police uh, went there. Seems like another group um, had already made their way up to the slaughterhouse so the police were kind of, you know, intercepted by us <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> distracted long enough so that these people could do the action over here. Look how close to residential area this slaughterhouse is. People living right here with their families and children. Smells like shit and blood over here. It's disgusting. It smells like rotting animals. How can people live like this individual here lives right next door? Like all I can smell is sheep carcass right now. Disgusting. And is it, look at the um, look at the way this place is designed with the prison bars. Heroes. There's someone up on the roof too. you any problems. You might get some peace signs and some songs sung to you, that's about it. <laughs> Maybe a flower put in your pocket. <laughs> no one here is violent or aggressive. We just really care about animals, that's all. We don't like that there's chopped up animal bodies in the bin over there. And it's, more, it's more about uh, disrupting the system, not the individuals that work here. We don't even think jobs like this should be made available to human beings either. You know, blood and animals trying to struggle for their lives. So yeah, it's bigger than any individual really. If you walk past a butcher and then you walk into a slaughterhouse, the, se the smell is exactly the same. A butcher and a slaughterhouse smell exactly the same. Like blood. Except the slaughterhouse has got more of a urine, feces, rotten corpse smell. Like if you're walking up, you can smell it. it smells like a rotten animal. But yeah, when you're on the kill floor, it smells exactly like a butcher. So after I, when I was on the kill floor watching animals be stabbed and you know taking in that smell, whenever I walk past the butcher, I just get a flashback of the kill floor. He said, can I squash him? Pretty funny joke, not. Yeah, he goes, oh, can I squash him? Cops just laugh. I don't know, can you make jokes like that? About running over activists? You can't really make jokes like that, eh? I'm gonna ask her why, you let, why she let him say that. Excuse me. Did he just say, uh, can I squash him? 
Can you what, sorry? Did he just say, can I squash him? I don't him? know, he just doesn't agree with protesting. But he said, can I squash him? I, I heard him. Okay. But why did you let him say that? I was just wondering. What, what do you mean, why did I let him say Why did you allow him to say that without warning him? Oh, I can't stop anyone saying what. What if he did run over the activist after you, he sort of said that in jest? Then he would be dealt with. Yeah, but if he said, I'm going to blow up this, these buildings or something, and you didn't take that seriously, uh -huh. you'd, be negli you'd be liable for that. Okay. Just let, like, you know, he said, I'm, you know, activists have been run over and killed before. I, I, I can fully really imagine, yeah. You should take things like that more seriously. We love you. 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 Slaughterhouse, hacking up animals, you can smell blood and corpses. Right here, there's children playing out the back of a school. You can hear them, they're young children as well. How crazy is that? That's why they're brought up normalising violence. So that's why society is like it is, because they're brought up thinking that this stuff is normal, right outside of a school. They can hear the animals screaming from there, the so there's a petition to close down yeah, the slaughterhouse. there have been pre like previous petitions, I don't think they've gone through. But that's interesting because the parents will be feeding the slaughtered bodies to the children, yep. but they want the slaughterhouse shut down nearby, so... Yep. Alright mate, Jesus. This is the residents are trying to you know, ram into the activists. Apparently there's a petition to get this place shut down because they don't like the fact that animals are being slaughtered here but they want to eat animal bodies every day, you know, like... You can't have one and not the other. You want to eat animal bodies, there's going to have to be a slaughterhouse somewhere. So we are here for the workers because they're victims too. They suffer for this job, mental health, low paid, not just this slaughterhouse but all of them. So we are here in solidarity also with the workers. Okay, so I think someone's inside this actual slaughterhouse, live streaming from Anna Rebellion. We're gonna see if we can show you the images from the live stream right now, but apparently they're inside the slaughterhouse. Uh, this is a bin out the front. All the skins and bodies and guts from the sheep, lambs, heads. Body parts. Stock standard slaughterhouse stuff. I keep on singing loud. So this is quick. Keep on singing loud. Tell me why. Why are you doing this? Okay, so a couple of activists have super glued themselves to the fence. Um, that's another way of being disruptive and then it creates another barricade for the police to have to work towards moving them off and... It's a peaceful way of disrupting the system, I suppose. Yeah. Let's take their hands to the fence. Ouch. So these guys here, they'll be... They're basically documenting the identity of the activists so they know who's involved with the organisation, I think. So Ed, yeah. um, what are your thoughts on this type of uh, civil disobedience direct action? Yeah, I think it's powerful. I think um, when people are willing to put their liberties and freedom at risk, I think it sends like a powerful message that this is this is something that we feel not just passionate about, but something that you know we're willing to yeah. risk a lot for. And I think yeah. it adds a credibility to, to, to yeah. what you're fighting against or fighting yeah. for. So, yeah. so you're a, a vegan advocate predominantly, you do a lot of your advocacy on social media. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this brings another element into it? Like, yeah. yeah. Well, definitely, I mean, what we're up against is like a multi-headed beast, right? Yeah. So it's not as simple as having like one tactic to yeah. remove all of the heads. So I think we need social media activism, we need just kind of grassroots, we need civil disobedience. We yeah. need a whole spectrum of things because yeah. that's the only way we're actually going to tackle yeah. this, this huge monster that we're up against. Because, uh, other vegan activists might be put off a little bit by doing activism because this is quite full on. They're chained on, and yeah. what, what, what would you say to those people? Like, well, you don't have to be chained on. I mean, yeah. everyone out here, you know, 
really and truly like we're here for support we're here to document we're here to share online it, those people inside are incredibly humbling to me because they are willing to do all that but you yeah. don't have to you know no. that's the point being here in solidarity is, is also an incredibly essential part of civil disobedience yeah. and so doing acts of civil disobedience doesn't mean that you're actually necessarily putting your freedom in danger no. other people will do that and it's up to you to build up the confidence if you want to but mm. just being here being you know feet on the ground and, you know voice to add in solidarity is, yeah. is also just as important no no you said it very well thanks so much Ed. you're welcome Thank you thanks for, for being here as well man <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got a feeling something might be going down around the other side. I don't know. I might move across the other side. Maybe this is deterrent for what's going down over there. Come on. We are peaceful. Happens in that sort of house. But we're we're here. You know, we're going to deal with all of you guys. Obviously, we've got to we've got to support everyone's rights, and that we've got a chance to protest peacefully about what you want to do. And we support the animals' rights. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Not there yet. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. gonna go <laughs> yeah. No, no. The tr oh what are you saying? The truck drivers beat the animals. He said what he hears a lot. He said the, the owners are not very nice people, and he said the truck drivers. He hears them beating them, kicking them, screaming at them. Get off the in the truck. You're in. Yeah, yeah. So apparently workers actually live in this little building here, yeah. right next door here, on the property. Which is very interesting. I've never, never actually been to a slaughterhouse where there's a small house on the same property where the, where the workers actually live. It's getting ready for the truck. Looks like the truck's coming. That's straight. I think there's a truck full of animals coming here. Um, might be cows, so I don't know how visible they will be. We'll have to wait till the seat of the truck gets up closer. Can I just ask you all to step back a bit? I just don't want to get anyone run over by a lorry. Um, what if it's not for one minute and then two. we're Can you come down here now? So those animals just look really lovely and scared and innocent and well we're only out the front of this road because you want to eat animal products and animals have to be slaughtered. Um, yeah so they just look really innocent and, and terrified and you know, they're only young animals and they're off in there now to be bolt gunned and their heads slashed across the throat, have their blood drained from them and to be fed to people in this residential area. The same residents who complain about this slaughterhouse's existence are paying for it to be there. And they're also disgruntled because we're standing out in the middle of the road here. But, you know, they're paying for this place to exist and they're paying for those animals to go into those uh, hell holes. So this is all legal, legal murder what's happening here. So it's legal animal abuse, what they're doing to these animals in there. Any other animals, dogs, we will defend them. These animals, they have police protecting this business here. Legally sanctioned murder, that's what it is. So I'm just cleaning the animals' feces off of my hand. Like, when you think about your food, your food shouldn't defecate on themselves out of fear. You know, plants are food, not scared animals. Not pieces of scared animals' bodies that have been hacked up, blood and crap all over them. I said I just get angry when I see that happening, you know? It just fucks me off, like... 
poor baby should be t getting taken care of, not this. Like they have done nothing wrong to anyone, those animals. They, all they did was be born. Forced into a, to, to birth as well. Forced into birth to be forced down the kill floor. The knife forced into their throat. We'll get off the road when you stop paying for slaughterhouses. Can you see that? That's a stock, stock standard uh, cow slaughter. Is that from today? No, this is uh, just standard. This is Australia actually. Pretty similar to a UK. See a cow trying to escape? See the cow trying to escape? Don't show me, I'm Mr. <laughs> I, I don't eat meat. Do you eat dairy? Dairy products, yes. they all get slaughtered for dairy as well. Sorry, I was just repositioning. <laughs> <laughs> they try to escape. You ever see your food get made before? That's the first step. Murder, fear, struggle, death. Ever seen any of this before? That's inside the slaughterhouse. Struggle. Hung upside down, stabbed in the throat. Shot in the head. It's what no one sees. No, I'm not happy, but I'm not going to make any comment on it. You don't have to comment. No, that's okay. I know you can't anyway. Yeah. You, you have to remain impartial. But I know most of the public and most human beings are definitely not... Definitely not happy with that. There are any babies. One, two years old. Mic check! Mic check! Product of murder. That's what it is. Oh, little teddy bears they were in the back of that truck. Yeah. They look so young as well. They look really young. Yeah. But I promise you, I can't imagine any officer here taking a knife or taking a baton that you have on you and beating an animal to death or stabbing them to death for a chicken wing or for a burger. When someone else is doing it, it's easier to, you know, put it aside, to put it out of your mind. I can't imagine you guys would do that, especially given the oath that you've sworn to serve and protect others, you know? I'm sure that some of you have had to protect animals in your line of duty. It would surprise me if you had it. Where someone's doing something horrible to an animal, abusing an animal. Or please don't pay people to, people to do that anymore. You will never walk away.